Before getting in a cage, this is my favorite warm-up drill for blocking, the lateral pointing pull-down. It might be a little different from what you've seen or gotten used to, but once a goalie reaches an intermediate skill level, I've had a coaching theory on why this approach is preferred. I'll explain. I think we all know the usual goalie warm-up shots, either straight on or over the head. The goalie gets to work on elevating out with the timing of the shot and getting their hands on that save. It's not bad, of course, they're important. I wanna say I've easily done over 100,000 at this point in my career. My pragmatic view on it though is, aren't most shots going to go to the left or the right? Instead of starting with those usual blocks and progressing, I skip that now and start with shots to the left or the right, and my partner has to point on what side that they're shooting. I still will be working blocking, but I get to track how my torso, my head, my arms, everything is as I go laterally, which is gonna be the majority of the shots. I get used to reading those shots. The theory is, as long as a goalie is beyond their beginner levels, so this is not for beginners, my approach is that because they already know how to elevate up, they know how to block a ball, I don't wanna keep training an instinct of seeing a shot release and just elevating, exploding straight up. There's a term for one bad position called iron cross that could easily get exacerbated by this. When they explode out with both arms and are stuck with no other movement, hoping it either hits them or they can at least just reach with their wingspan. So the drill is, I wanna work the mechanics of me elevating out and blocking the ball. So I start six to seven meters apart and throwing 70 to 80%. I want that distance there for there still to be time to see the ball traveling towards me, tracking that moving object. I've seen goalies warm up four to five meters apart and throwing 100%. This is only gonna promote flinching, if anything, versus technique. The target I give my partner is to have the shot just scrape the outside edge of my shoulder in the base position, so it's not anything too far. If it skips, that's fine. I must elevate out, aiming to get my stomach behind the ball, just like a regular pull down, and control, absorb, pull that ball down with two hands. Eyes are on the ball completely the entire time, even after the save, until I recover to my legs. Coaches, goalies, bad habits to watch out for are if I'm rotating my torso at all, if I'm only reaching for the ball with just with my arms, if I'm tipping over instead of going laterally, if I'm swinging my arms or knocking the ball, also, if I'm going backwards just to try to read the shot and get behind it. Given how much time I have before I get in a cage, I then progress further in this order and see how I do. Pointing with pumping. Pick up and shoot with no pointing. No pointing and pumping. After that, it's choice for whatever I prefer to work on for warm-up drills. If you enjoyed this video and you think it helps, like it, share it, consider subscribing, and check out some of the other videos I have. If you're a coach, feel free to direct message any questions you might have.